show you today my uh, homemade drum sand that I made to use on my lathe. Uh, what I did was I took a piece of uh, PVC pipe and put a piece of wood in each end. This end is drilled for three, uh, excuse me, M33 3.5, which is what the headstock on my one way uses. The other end, just a recess that I move my tailstock up against. So all I need to do is just thread this onto the headstock, snug it up like such, bring the tailstock up, and bring that into play. Smooth. The bed is merely a piece of two pieces of uh, one and a half inch uh, particle board, a couple big hinges. I've got a uh, fine threaded three quarter inch bolt in the back that I can use to adjust this up or down. It takes small little adjustments, works really well. Covered it with aluminum because it's slippery. Things move pretty good. And the, uh, the drum is covered in uh, pressure sensitive adhesive uh, Velcro. The, the, the coarse part and then you can buy uh, uh, sandpaper in widths and different grits that has the corresponding velcro piece on the back a hook and loop fastener I believe it's proper turn so you can change the uh, uh, change the grit well, when you wear it out and put on a new piece uh, piece of uh, piece of walnut here that's actually not in too bad a shape but I'm going to run it through these for you just to kind of show you how it is Take pretty small bites. You don't have a lot of control with this. You don't have that nice rubber belt that the uh, uh, the, the factory models have that uh, will hold on to your piece and take it through. So you've got to hold on to it. Uh, I turn this in such a way that if something happens, the piece comes back. So I make sure I stand out of the way because I do not want, uh, want it to come back and hit me. And I don't want it to suck me, excuse me, suck me in the uh, 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 piece that direction and get hung up in this guy, so you don't need to turn it very fast. It's uh, as you see from here. Uh, we're turning it at uh, 484 RPM, and you can probably run it faster or slower. This seems to work pretty well. So let's go ahead and run it through and see what it looks like. I'm not running the dust collector today because it's noisy, but it's always a good idea. Drum tenders make a lot of dust. Because you're using a lot of wood to show it over here. And flip it over. Exactly the same as the piece of wall, it's soft, not very big. I use this mainly to surface the pieces to do a little segmented work. Turn it around like that. And it's starting to move pretty easy through there. So I'll reach back behind and take a small turn on the bolt. I'll raise up the bed a little bit. Again, and you can see it's part of the dust flying in there. Right here now, and you can see it. Doing a pretty nice job. Nice and smooth. Do two sides. They'll be nice and parallel. Uh, so if you need uh, two nice smooth surfaces, parallel, nice and flat, great way to go. Uh, it doesn't take up the floor space that a uh, uh, standalone uh, wide belt sander requires and it's a great way to make your lathe do a little extra duty if you want uh, to save some of your money and uh, you'll save it on some floor space. So anyway, thank you very much for watching.